Guys are awesome. Especially Uncle Arjun. He's so funny. Mira, are you still sore about yesterday? Just one more day. Just one more day was all I asked for. One more day of not bothering Arjun with the news about them. And you couldn't even do that. Mira, the only one bothered is you. Adam and I spoke to the children last night. Ma Pa, I need your support. Support? You and Adam are breaking up. And you want our support. I need your support to be there for Michael and Melissa. No. You work it out with Adam. Ma, it's it's better for the children. It's not good for them to see us fighting every day. Let's stop fighting. Ma, can't you understand? How can I understand this nonsense? Huh? Happy or not happy? Okay? You and Adam have to try and work out this marriage together. This is what marriage means. I'm planning out a roster for someone to be with Arjun at all times. Uh, I can be back most afternoons. Good. I'll ask Joel if I could work from home in the morning and go to the office in the afternoon. I'll come straight home after I go to the market. Great. Yeah, I need my diapers changed when I start crying. Very funny. Uh, what? Uh, I just got a reminder about deadline. I better leave now and be late for class. I'll go with you. I need to go to the market. Okay. Bye, man. Bye, Arjun. Mm. Bye. Bye, Brad. Work hard. Bye. Ma, are you all right? Look, I know it must be hard to accept that Pa has another daughter and a granddaughter. Arjun. How come you are fine with this? Aren't you shocked? Don't you have any questions or doubts? My life... Life's too short to have doubts. I... We... We both need to look on the positives. And the blessings. You and Shruti are enough blessings for me. Ma, look, give it half a chance, okay? How's it going? It's coming along fine. How's yours? Just one more segment and I'm ready to print. Oh. Actually, I gotta see you guys later. I've got a tutorial. I'll see you at the party, right? Yeah. All right. Don't work too hard. See you, man. See you, man. Later. You're not even close to completing that essay, right? Come in. Hi. <laughs> Tanya. Are you busy? No. We're just in time for coffee break. Okay. Um, I just wanted to drop by and say thank you for dinner last night. Joy and I really enjoyed it. So did we. Is Arjun okay? I mean, is he truly okay with Joy and me? You spoke to him last night. What do you think? I think he's warm and receptive, but is he that way with everybody? <laughs> well, no. It could be due to everything that he's going through the last few months. But I am sure that he's absolutely pleased to have you and Joy join the family. Really? Tanya, don't worry. Everything is fine. And Auntie Mira? 
I mean, I can see she's not happy. What did I do wrong? Am I coming on too strong? Please, I mean, you have to help me at least try and make it better. Joy's become so attached to you, and Shruti, and Arjun, and I... I really just don't want to upset her anymore. Tanya, no matter what, it's not your fault. I need to say hello. I have this avocado milkshake. Thanks, Zoom. But can I take this away? I need to go home. We just left your house a short while ago and the children are at tuition. There's no need to rush home yet. Okay. I'll leave you ladies alone. I take up. short your compassionate leave. Come back to work sooner. It may help take your mind off Hassan. It helped me when my husband passed away. How can I do that? How can my life just go back to normal like he never existed? You can't think like that. You're probably still in shock because it was just all so sudden last few days of his life. How upset he must have felt knowing that I was thinking of sending him to a nursing home. How... How could I do that? And it's not Mira's fault either. There were too many secrets. And you never told Auntie Mira about Leanne? At the time, there was no need to. Um, Leanne and I had broken up by the time I married Mira. And Leanne never told you about me? <laughs> no. She never told anyone anything. You're right. There's just too many secrets. What if I had a heart-to-heart -heart with Mira? I just want her to get comfortable with me. Look, I, I know how she feels. Your whole life, as you know it, turned upside down. Your history, completely rewritten. The fact is, I'm your daughter. And if she can't accept that, that'll affect all of us. Arjun, Shruti, Joy. I really need to make this work. Please let me try. Yep. Uh, I think this looks okay. Great. Thank you so much for your help. Hey, I only gave suggestions. You did the most of it. I guess I needed the push. And now you can go for the party. To be honest, I'm not really looking forward to it. Some of his friends who I can't stand will be there. Then you should have told Sean. I know, I know. You can't say no to him, right? It's just that I feel like I've become a depressing burden on him lately. He said they haven't been smiling much. Smile? You mean that thing you do with your lips that lights up your face? Uh -huh, look at that. <laughs> no wonder he misses it. Well, you know how to fix that? Just talk to him, be honest with him, and tell him. If he wants to see you smile, then he has to do stuff that makes you smile. Hey, Tanya. Hi. Hi, Sayang. Hi, Sayang. For donuts, please. Okay. Here you go. Two mee siam, extra spicy. Thanks. Oh, Joy can't handle that much spice. No, actually, it's for Auntie Mira. I'm having lunch with her today. Actually, I'm surprising her with lunch. <laughs> it's just when you told me that she was disapproving of Diana and that she's really protective of her family, I thought maybe I should preempt her. You know, talk to her. Make her understand that I really don't have any bad intentions. <laughs> Anyways, 
Wish me luck. <laughs> good luck. Yeah, good luck. Tanya is really making so much effort with that mirror. She's getting closer and closer to them every day. Looks like she is. They're still upset with you, Sam. I hope they don't stop you from seeing her. Hi, Auntie Mira. Tanya, what are you doing here? Care to have lunch with me? Uh, no, I'm very busy and my colleagues are away and... Well, you still have to eat, don't you? Sure. The lawyers are drafting the separation papers. There's no turning back. We'll be signing the papers next week. Yeah. The children and Adam will stay with you. Huh? What about you? I'll be moving to a hotel tonight. So soon? What's the hurry? Since we decided we must do it immediately, there's, there's no point dragging it out. I hope you like me, Siam. Pastor and the kids like it. Well, what do you like? <laughs> Whatever the family likes. Well, why don't you tell me something about yourself, Auntie Mira? What's that to tell? Look, I know you're unhappy with the situation. And I just want you to know that I'm no threat to you or your family. Apiao will keep an eye on the children while you run your errands. I'm so sorry for the trouble, Apiao. <sighs> no trouble at all. If I can handle Eddie, eh? I can handle any kid. Um, Mrs. Pereira, I thought about what you said. I think I want to go back to work next week. That's wonderful news. I'll mention it to the principal. I have to go back for remedial class. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye-bye. See you. Ah, so, what can I help you with the homework? Who is this? This is my wife. She passed away many years ago. So I keep a photo here so I can remember her. Can I also put a photo of Papa so I can see him every day? Sure. Why don't you get the box of things uh, in Papa's room? Okay. Bill, thank you very much. That was a very good idea. Remember, always keep the good memories. Those are the most important ones. I came to Singapore to look for my birth mom, to find out why she gave me up, to find my father and my half-siblings. That's just, that's an amazing bonus. I can see that. No, you, you don't understand. I don't want anything from Bhaskar. I have no agenda. I'm not out for revenge or anything. He's as much as a victim as I am. Leon hid the pregnancy from him, and then he felt compelled to leave Singapore and get married and- Compelled? I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it the way it sounded. But I know that you're a wonderful wife and very protective of your family. I'm the same way with Joy. If Joy was with someone that I didn't feel like was right for her, I would put an end to that relationship too, just like what you did with Diana and Arjun. I understand that a mother's instincts are strong, although sometimes misguided and maybe even wrong, but... Wrong, I see but... you have been gossiping behind my back. No, that's not what I meant, Mrs. Mira. I mean, Auntie... Ba God, I've made a big mess of this, haven't I? I'm just gonna go. You know, I really didn't mean any harm. I'm just trying my best. 
Thanks for your time. Tanya, wait. I know you're not here to stir trouble, but when I got to know about you, I just didn't know how to react or what to expect. I completely understand. It must have been a tremendous shock to you. I've lived with the knowledge that I've been adopted for years, and Leon's always known about the baby, but Bhaskar hid the relationship from you. Out of all of us, I think you might have had it the hardest. <laughs> I'm sorry if I've given you a hard time. I just didn't know where all this would lead to. I needed to protect my family and myself. I just want you to know that I'm just here to get to know my father and his family better. That's all. Zaz leaving tonight. What about Michael and Melissa? They will be staying here so Adam can look after them. <sighs> what will people think that our daughter is a divorcee? Don't care what people think. What's important now is to give the children support, especially Melissa. We must be there for them. Let me take a seat. I'll get you a drink. Okay, thanks. Mm. Uh, I was just on my way to run some errands. Is Salma in? Oh, she's at the clinic. Oh. Um, I'm just wondering if Salma could keep an eye on the children while I'm in school. Oh. Um, I've decided to go back to work next week. Oh, that's good. Um, actually, we already discussed. Um, Lina and Mark. They're going to stagger their shifts so that they can help you babysit if you need them to. Oh, that would be great. Please, thank them for me. Thank you, thank for what? We're family. Oh, um, another reason I'm here is, um, is this. I believe this is yours. Hassan kept it all this well. My Tamaguchi. <laughs> I clearly remember this. I wanted it so bad. He got it for me when I got full marks for my maths test. I'm glad it brings good memories. <laughs> what made Hassan the happiest in his last days was making peace with you. I will cherish that memory of him. So, thank you. And I will climb the highest mountain. I will walk the valleys low. And I will hide Do you need help? From any no? Why? Can't wait to get rid of me. You know, that's not what I meant. I know, I'm sorry. This is a big step. But we just need to do this. We need to stay positive and... This is the right decision. I know. Oh, she's just by the pool enjoying herself. I'm on my way to my office, D&D. &D. Oh. Aren't you going to that party with Sean? I don't really want to go. I don't like his friends. Anyway, Joyce, I want to spend time with her. But 
Sean doesn't seem too happy about that. Well, if he's a good guy, then he'll understand what's important to you. Just give him time to cool off. OK, I got to go. Bye. I'll see you. I'll soon be over Bye, Mom. Take care. Mom, I'm going to miss you. I promise we will see each other often, OK? Taxi's here. OK. Be good and study hard. And I will let the tears come down. Bye. Hey. Hi. Hi. Sorry. That's okay. Hi. Hi. Um, Joy left this at the counter. Thank you. <laughs> so, how was lunch with Mira? It went surprisingly well. I mean, we haven't bonded or anything, but it's a start. She even asked if Joy wanted to sleep over tonight when she heard I had an office dinner dance. Really? Oh, that's wonderful. Fingers crossed that this is a sign of better things to come. <laughs> I better go. Bye. 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 Oh. What you want? Spit it out. Okay. So, I'm planning a Valentine's Day dinner tonight for Suzanne. And can you two disappear for a little bit and let us have the place to ourselves? Mm, does Susan know about this? No, it's a surprise. So, anyway, Gina, you'll be having dinner with Ben, right? Yeah. And you. Oh, sorry, I forgot you got no one. Oh, it's so mean. Okay, it's just our last Valentine's Day as a couple, okay? Before the baby comes. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll make myself scarce.